And good morning. It is Friday, August 30th. TGIF for you working folk. And we are back on the AT. And that's what we got today. So, my father in law, Charlie, just uh, dropped us off in Caratunk. And actually, he and I we took a little hike south back to the river cross, and he wanted to check that out. So, that was pretty cool. We walked down there, and there was a bunch of northbounders or no bows on the other side of the river waiting to get back. Uh, get boated across. There was a different boat guy than yesterday. I reckon I saw. We had Matt yesterday who had his dog with him, but different guy today. So uh, that was a good warm up for me before I get on the trail here. Well, I guess we were on the trail, but it was a good warm up on some flat ground. So I think the plan is, I don't know, 14 or 16 today. We'll gonna play it by ear, we're not getting back on the trail early by any means, so. But we had a good breakfast, only a two day food carry. We'll be getting picked up again in Monson on uh, Sunday morning. And then spend another night at camp and uh, relax, hopefully a lot of that day and then Monday hit the 100 mile wilderness. And we'll probably be out there for about six days ish. Depending on how things go, weather and mileage will certainly be a different hike for me than years past for sure. I mean, I've done the 100 mile wilderness a lot of times um, as a section, but not in this kind of shape for sure. So uh, maybe skipping a lean two or two here or there that I would normally stop at for the day. Maybe go a little further this year, but I uh, don't want to rush it either. Now I'm eager. It's very strange duality. You know, I'm eager to be done and things like that. But the more I see family and stuff now, uh, you know, I'm not like gonna grind it out here at the end and just squeeze every last morsel of goodness out of it because a lot of my friends here are probably most if not all I probably won't ever see again which is kind of sad but uh, because it's something that we did together that you know certainly a major highlight or milestone or whatever in, in my life but uh you know, that's the great thing about electronics and stuff now. There'll certainly be people that I text and maybe FaceTime with for the rest of my life. So certainly glad to have made the acquaintances. And after I finish, we were saying last night, uh, got quite a few people that I still know and hiked with and spent time with behind me. So I'm looking forward to helping them out food drops or rides to the airport after they're done or, or what have you or whatever they need um, as they make their way north so really looking forward to that but uh, I'll let you all go it's a beautiful day it's not supposed to maybe have showers to Sunday and hopefully we're sitting on the couch in the camp by then uh, have a great uh, Friday and weekend and I'll be back later. See ya.
It is almost 4.30 in the afternoon on Friday, August 30th, 2024. We're clipping along. We're under five miles to the shelter, which is nice. And this looks to be uh, a downward elevation. So we should be able to move right along. I gotta get some water, I'm out of water. What a beautiful day. I don't think I've seen a cloud all day. Just beautiful. I'm kind of tired though. Stayed up pretty late at the camp last night, but it was worth it to visit and eat and stuff with my family. But I am looking forward to getting in my tent tonight and getting my 12 hours tent time if I can. I do like that. And it should be pretty warm. The forest will be warm. We're supposed to get like 75 in town. I don't think it got that out here, but again, we're in the shade. But uh, a good day. Just kind of ambling along, really. Not going fast, not going slow. So, keep plugging. Get some water at the stream up here. Should only have about uh, three and a half miles or so to the shelter after that. So, I'll check back in with you in a while. See you. It is just after 6 p.m. on August 30th. And I think I'm only probably about two thirds, two tenths or three tenths of a mile from the camp. There's a brook. It's one tenth of a mile south of it. So I'm gonna stop and fill up that for my dinner, cook my dinner with. A great day. I didn't really go too fast today. Just kind of absorbed it, especially those days when you know exactly how far you're going. It's, I don't know, for me anyway, my body says, okay, if you're only going that far today, I'm only going to go this fast. So that's the way I feel a lot, which is fine. Uh, you know, I'll have my tent set up and I've cooked my food by seven. And that's a good time, although you can really tell we've lost a lot of time. And it's a double whammy for us because we're going north, which automatically loses you time. Plus, just, you know, getting into fall. You're losing it as well every every single day. You're losing minutes, so won't be able to. Uh, there's no more hike until eight. That's for sure. Eight thirty. Not without a headlamp. I don't really want to anyway. But I'll let you go here. Finish up. Look for that little brook to get my water and cook and call tonight. I'll see you all back tomorrow morning. First thing on the AT. Night. Have a good great have a great Friday night. See ya.